Today, we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the Church of St. John Lateran. This church was built in the fourth century in Rome. It is the Cathedral Church of the Diocese of Rome, which has the Pope as its head. Every year on this day, the anniversary of his dedication is celebrated throughout the Catholic world. In this way, it expresses the unity of the whole church with the Bishop of Rome. During the dedication of a new church, the consecrating bishop anoints the walls and the altar of the church with oil. By an act of consecration, an object or a person is set aside and dedicated for a very specific purpose, a sacred purpose. Just as in baptism, we are blessed, consecrated, and called into a special association with Christ and belong to him. So the dedication of a new church sets it aside for its very specific purpose. It becomes a sacred building for the purpose of serving Christ and the community of God's people. The church building at the centre of our towns and villages stands out as a lasting reminder to us in the midst of our daily comings and goings of a higher reality, a higher purpose and meaning to our lives. The church building, blessed and set up as the house of God, tells us that the Word became flesh and that God dwells among his people. Christ and the extraordinary story of his love for us becomes present every time the Eucharist is celebrated in this building. The words of the responsorial psalm reminds us of this great truth. It says, This is the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within. The Lord of hosts is with us. And so, the church buildings in our towns and villages are sacred places, holy places. They remind us of God's presence in our midst and it is customary for people to bless themselves when they pass a church as a mark of respect as they go about their daily business. Turning to today's Gospel, we find Jesus giving us a strong message about sacred places. He goes into one of the most sacred places for the Jewish people, the Temple in Jerusalem. And there he drives out the money changers and traders who were selling cattle, sheep and pigeons inside the building. He accuses them of turning his father's house into a marketplace. And he gives a strong message to these people. This building is a sacred place. It is God's house. And they had utterly failed to respect that fact. Our churches too are sacred places which need to be respected at all times. On this feast then of the dedication of a church, we are reminded about many things which are worth celebrating about our churches. We remember especially those people who made big sacrifices to have their church built and who were very poor at the time, but gave generously out of the little that they had. We celebrate their faith and the faith and the sacrifices and the dedication of generations of people who have gathered in their local church to pray and to worship the God who loved them. Like the church building, we are reminded today that we too have been dedicated for a special purpose in life. We are called to be living witnesses of God's presence in our lives. St. Paul, writing to the Christian community at Corinth, says to them, you are God's building, you are that temple. He is telling them that they are called to be living temples where Christ dwells and lives. This thought reminds me of the beautiful hymn, Christ has no body now but yours, no hands, no feet now but yours. These words challenge us to be Christ-like in the way we are to relate to one another and the way we should treat each other. And so today, in celebrating the dedication of the Church of St. John Lateran, we celebrate the faith of the apostles, the witness of martyrs, and the commitment and faithfulness of every generation. And we renew our commitment to be temples of the Spirit and bearers of Christ's love to all those we meet. May God bless you and may his love dwell in your hearts today and at all times.